Hello and welcome back to um let's try I, I'm tentatively episode one of the last spell I I do actually really want to do a series on this game because it's a, a lot of fun or at least it was a lot of fun when I played it last I've heard it's uh it's had some rocky development but I've, I've heard that uh, this game is still very good um but the last spell is uh, recently hit 1.0 um just a reminder this game was provided like i was provided a key for this game so uh, take that into consideration it doesn't really have um any bearing on on my opinion on, of the game i i really liked it when i played it but uh, either way i i'd like to do more of this but we're, we're just going to be playing the game uh in its new 1.0 state and seeing uh, if anything is new in the beginning war for centuries, the world has en was engulfed in never-ending strife and chaos. Elves fighting dwarves, dwarves fighting humans, orcs fighting everyone. The common folk were blood dry. Misery, famine, plague. Secluded in his tower, researching forbidden magic secrets, the Archmage Hieronymus Teller made an extraordinary uh, discovery. Wild, unknown worlds, words of power harness tremendous forces. A ritual of mass destruction able to obliterate any city in one strike. Hoping to end all wars, he cast a spell on uh, Glintfane, a small enemy village. A gigantic dark ball of purple flames fell from the sky and smashed into the town center. Leaving only ruins, lifeless bodies, and purple fumes. The whole royal family of a neighboring kingdom was present at the time. They all died. The king, mad with grief, ordered the military to research this new magic. He made his mages unleash hell on the closest major city. Dang, I forgot Yeah, how, how hard this opening goes. Uh, several hundred thousand dead. Every kingdom sought the purple magic. Alliances were set in motion. The sky was constantly flashing purple bursts. Thundering blasts were heard every hour. War was no more, only annihilation. There was no turning back. At some point, the explosion stopped, a resounding silence. Anonymous mists started to aggregate around the remaining cities. Small groups of survivors gathered. The surrounding mist was thickening. At night, they had to defend against ghastly monsters. They called them Clawers. A fighter simply known as the Commander took charge. Defenses were rebuilt. Some havens emerged from the chaos. Most mages were hanged, or worse, in retribution. Some of them, fearing for their lives, tried to find an answer. I love the uh, design of these mages. Just like the very pointy kind of cowl. And you can't see their face. I, I, I really enjoy that. They found a way. A spell. The last spell. Sorry. Here. The last spell. They devised complex rituals to cleanse the corrupted runic nexus. The goal was simple, yet nearly impossible. Channel enough energy to break the remaining seals of magic. And banish all magic from this world forever. But when comes the night, terrifying mutated creatures appear. They come out of the mist to kill. The survivor's only hope is to, to fight night after night and protect these mages at any cost until the last spell is cast. <laughs> uh, a lot of people have commented on the fact that this, the, the music in this game is like actually amazing. Um, definitely a, a, a selling point. Um, but uh, for me, I, I really like, I don't know, tactics games. Um, I'd say they're more hit than miss for me. Uh, I generally like tactics games. I like game. They tend to be games with a lot of depth to them um, and a lot of player agency and uh, interesting choices to make. So I, I tend to really enjoy um, tactics games, but this one also re resonated with me in a way that a lot of others didn't um, And it, it, like it does some some cool stuff And I think what I like about this one is rather than have like significant monsters that you're trying to kill like 
you know this monster has x you know a lot of health and they do, do like three different attacks instead you're trying to like wipe out hordes of monsters in a way it makes it much more satisfying you're almost like it, almost imagine like your attacks are like aoe tetrominoes and you're really just trying to like reverse tetris destroy waves of, of creatures and i thought that was really fun in this game defend the last bastion of humanity with your squad of heroes while the mages try to banish all magic exterminate fiendish monsters by night and rebuild your battered city defenses by day protect the magic circle night after night until the mages break the seal the haven is lost if the magic circle is destroyed or if all heroes are dead deployment phase to position your heroes by placing them just outside the city the camera can be moved yep i remember direction of incoming hordes is shown uh in the commander's journal uh position your oh okay position your heroes hordes incoming northwest all right, so we're going to put, I forget. Okay, yeah, there we go. There's a little bit of, it, it's, it, you know, some of the buttons are a little bit sticky when uh, positioning heroes. Now, um, these these heroes are all fairly different. I think, uh, okay, so the, the middle one here, this guy, you can click their profile in the, in the top left. It's actually helpful in a way because you can see um, what kind of hero they are. So, you know, we want to position this archer in the back and then... Uh, Put these two guys up in the front. Very weak defense, but very cheap. Oh, is this is a, a defense. Only a few defenses can be constructed here. Well, we can't really construct any defenses yet. Show incoming uh, enemy's direction. Yep, there it is. Um, I'm not sure if what we... Oh, deployment. End phase. Okay, here we go. This is a very early kind of tutorial uh, stages of the game. I, I doubt that anything has changed here. And, you know, this is the problem with Let's Tries, especially with games of any depth, is that, um, you know, like when you... Not much is going to change to the early game. So you we're probably not going to see anything different from the first time I covered this game. Hence my, my desire to do a full series. Um, I also just really wanted to play this game. I was very grateful to, to be able to, to cover it. Um, and, uh, and so I'm, I'm excited to see what else is new. During the night, repel monsters until they're all dead. Move the heroes and use their skills in any order you like. A hero's available skills depend on the gear they have equipped. Skills, skill one, hotkey unassigned. Okay, okay. Well, you say that, but is it not one, two, and three? Yeah, it is. So we have Sword of D Democles. Um... I, I, I refuse to say Democles. I think that's silly. Uh, what is this? So is this targets one? Okay. Limit per turn four. So we can cast that four times, I think. And then transfer gives... Okay, hold on. Magic damage ignores half of the target's resistance. And then this is gives back a portion of uh, the given attribute. So this gives some health back, I think. It's not even uh, health. I think it could also be... Act it looks like action points and move points. And then magic missiles, uh, limit per turn twice, ignores half the, okay. So, you know, um, this is our, our magic user, and I think that they are um, who were moving. So we're, let's jump over, jump over a neighbor. No, we don't want to jump over, evade. I, I would like to just move them. Yeah, let's, let's move them. I'm going to move them forward a little bit, because uh, unfortunately, since they're first, um, it means that uh, they're going to be, putting themselves in, in the line of danger here. Any movement is cancelable until you cast a skill. Oh, that's good to know. Um, so we could hit a couple of these guys in the corner here, or I could move left a little bit and now we can hit more of them. Um, so why don't we do this sort of Democles? Ooh, that is almost a kill. Why don't we, yeah, let's hit a, a bunch of them. This is, I think this is kind of how I did things. Is you want to hit as many of them um, as possible because I believe our warrior here has a very nice area of, of uh, attack, area of effect ability. Just how many are they? Oh no. Okay, so it's them again. Okay, so did they get to have like a... Uh, a free turn 
or do I am I picking who goes first when a unit's health goes under a certain threshold they become wounded the inflicted negative effects are specific to the unit's type however uh, hover over the uh, blood droplet icons under that's uh, the unit's health bar to discover their effect well I don't have any yet but okay um, okay so we're I guess we're picking who who uh, gets to go so this is um, bash targets one limit per turn five so they have a bunch of attacks and then they have this crush um, which is targets two it's not as many as I thought but this we can do this twice so why don't we move her here we're gonna put her right in the range of, of damage here and then we're gonna do this crush kill these two guys and um oh i see so these use a, a a number of action points we don't necessarily have to use the same skill twice so could we we could use like this bash instead yes oh that that was really good can uh, we move her because she's no longer in a good position um i guess we can't move her she has three skill points left I should have thought this through a little bit bash okay you know what let's um hmm I'm wondering let's do let's do a crush just so we can like try and take that we, we didn't manage to kill that unit unfortunately um, and now we have enough we could do a brace let's do a brace because she's gonna be in the line of fire here for sure uh, I do have some bashes I could throw out there at least, uh, you know, because I have one more action point But I don't have anything to attack. So end the turn. Oh You know what? I think I'm screwing up here. I Think that I'm supposed to be uh, Attacking with everyone Select enemies to see their skills attributes and where they might move on the next turn Press left alt to see where all enemies might move this information to uh, use this information to place the heroes out of reach well I, I certainly messed that part up um mm, yeah okay so that's that's my bad I thought one like I'm used to uh, games with like initiative and turn orders and stuff like that so I I really thought by ending the turn it was gonna go to the next hero um, so that's a hundred percent my bad so we, we definitely want to use up as many um, of our you know, area of attacks as we can. Let's let's see if we can't uh, recover from this. Let's throw out a couple crushes. And let's throw out some, uh, some bashes on this guy that we managed to kill that guy. But we can't move her now. Like, she's really stuck in there. Oh, no, we can move her. Okay, let's, uh, let's get her out of there. We'll... Um, she, I think she can only yeah she can only do one more attack because uh, not only do the uh, skills have a certain number of uses but then we have a certain amount of action points that we can use so now we don't want to use uh, end our turn we want to continue here um, so we can use this four times 60 to 96 damage that means it's guaranteed never to kill anything good to know um, can we move her? You know what we could do is actually let's uh, transfer to her and then she should be able to move back a little bit. Um, we can move him, but let's uh, let's do some stuff first. Let's do we've got four um, action points. Let's throw out some magic missiles. Magic missiles actually has a chance to kill stuff. That guy is like about to die, so we could Oh, right. We can target a bunch of people with this. Targets. Wait, it says targets one. Will be cast multiple times on the targets of your choice. Hmm. Okay, so that was uh, a poor use of that. But it's, you know, I'm, 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 I have to relearn some things, unfortunately. So let's kill that guy, kill that guy. This is a good finisher. And now let's, um, oh wait, when you have no action points left on your heroes or you are done with your turn, hit the end turn button. This will trigger the horde's turn. Actions, action and move will be restored at the start of the next turn. Let's, uh, let's move this guy back. 
And I haven't been able to use this guy yet because I, I, I was a big dork and uh, forgot I could. So this has um, targets one. This is targets one. Target six. This is this is the one I remember. Is that this is like a tetromino almost uh, area of effect, which is really cool. Uh, so we definitely want to use that if we can. Oh no, this is okay. So this is like a, a rectangle, two by two by three, and then this is the one I was thinking of, rain rain of heroes. Um, so that's actually not a bad spot right there to use that. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Now uh, we could do a tight volley, uh, but there's not really a good place to use that unless I move and I should move. And where are they going to be coming forward? They're unfortunately, they're going to make it to our heroes here. So they're probably going to do some damage. Um, this tight volley might actually not be um, the best. Well, we can we can do some damage to three and then we could probably use our main attack for one. So let's do that. Yeah, and then we can we can kill this guy. Um, she still has some action points, so we can have her brace. We'll move him back. So I, I assume, yeah, this is the only guy that's gonna make it to her, to to our to Raquel, Ra Raquel, I think is her name. All right, so I'm not playing um, very optimally right now, but I am. I'm just relearning the ropes. An enemy within your haven or damaging its buildings and walls will cause panic. At the end of the night, the panic level de determines your rewards. Interesting. Uh, let's definitely do a rain of uh, arrows over there because we're going to... Oh, wow. That was a very good roll. That that killed a bunch of, of lads. And this is actually going to be really good, too. Yeah, that killed a bunch more. I have to replenish my mana. Yeah, that does use up mana in, as well as uh, as action points. Um, we could do a power shot. Power shot is a lot of damage, and it has a short range. So let's just try and kill that lad. Miss? Oh no, dude, you're not allowed to miss. That's that is not okay. Okay, let's do a yeah. Let's a bash is like a guaranteed kill. Oh, this guy had more than a hundred health. I was not considering that possibility. Okay, we'll move her forward. Oh, miss. That's that's the worst. I've I've been vocal before about my my opinion on miss mechanics, but you know it happens. Um, so we might have to do another transfer for uh, Raquel so she can get out of range. She's she's very much in the in the danger zone right now. Uh, this guy's got only a hundred health, so we should be able to kill him. Let's do a magic missile on him. Two two shots should be enough, and then we'll throw a, uh, one out there and one there. Okay, two is actually too much, but you know, that's the roll of the dice. I You throw out two to kind of guarantee the kill. Let's do a transfer, and I'm going to have her move back. That's unfortunately... Yeah, I mean, that just, just barely puts her out of the line of danger. I like this hold alt to uh, to see how how bad things are. That is actually very helpful. Um, let's do another magic missiles. Let's kill that guy and uh, just throw out some some damage. Ah, we managed to kill two. That's great. Yeah, I really like this game. Um, like like I say, you know, it's it's not so much about the individual uh, like monsters. I, I just think it's super satisfying to be able to kill like a bunch of stuff at once. Um, this, this game is like highly satisfying in that regard. Uh, let's, let's kill. Yeah, let's do this. We can, oh, all those, all those kills are good. We'll do, um, I kind of want to do a tight volley somewhere. Actually, if I could do a tight volley a little bit farther back, that would be ideal. Cause we could, so we need to move, um, it looks like I need to move two forward and three to the left. 
uh like you know, okay we'll, we'll move two forward and see where i where i need to to do this three actually two to the left would be fine Ex basically exactly where raquel is so let's have her move forward a little bit and then we'll have him move to the left and then we'll do um a, a tight volley right there perfect i need mana red wizard needs food badly i wonder if i did that joke last time oh this stomp has a huge area of effect i've been messing up with that um all right so let's have her kill this dude i wonder do they feel pain and then i'm gonna have her move in here and do a stomp um i think that'll be good oh this that actually works pretty well yeah we could have her do it again uh i almost wonder if it would be better to have her move forward a bit but you know what let's um let's have her use her last two points to kill these two lads next to her all right we'll have her move back a little bit it's probably yeah it's not gonna be good enough do we have anything yeah we have we can use our our uh, mage to to kill a few of these lads um Let's uh, start with these three. And then we'll have him move a little bit to the left. Um, he's out of mana, so I can't do any more magic missiles. We could do a transfer. Is he wounded? He is wounded. Move points decrease by one quarter. Oh, that's no good. She's wounded as well. Uh, he's not wounded, thankfully. That's what I get for for ruining the uh, the, the beginning here. All right, so let's do some swords of uh, Demacles. Actually, if we can, we move him a little bit to the left. All right, now we can reach a couple of these zombies in the back. Nice, we got a lucky crit there. Uh, I think that's all we can do. And actually, we're out of the range of of combat there, so that's really good. Um. I know it's kind of cumbersome, but I almost wish Control Z worked as an undo. Can they? They can't attack diagonally, right? All right, let's have her move forward. I, I kind of want to be very aggressive here. Be aggressive. Be be aggressive. And we'll have her throw out a couple of these. And, yep. Get fogged. I don't know what that means nice oh we can have her she can she can do one more kill that guy um let's have him move forward a bit we i we should be good i don't i don't I, we can take out the rest of these lads he doesn't have any magic missiles left so let's i use sort of demacles to um guarantee some kills and you don't have to like do his all all of his turn right away right like you could do a couple of actions and then switch to uh to this lad and then we could set up a couple of kills for him right so we could like hit this guy and we know that there's a chance it won't kill him and then switch back to the mage i appreciate those kind of uh those kind of strategies another knight survived experience gained nice it must be said i think the the look of this game is fantastic i think the uh just the the general style of it is very very clean um and and satisfying I, I i like it a lot even just like the interface i think is really well put together all right so uh i am gonna i'll do i'll do one more combat here and then i'm gonna end this i know it's kind of um short but I, I think I plan on doing more of this. I, I really like this uh, this game. I um, it's it's very difficult for me to cover these kind of games in one video in the first place. So I think uh, why don't we just kind of like wet our appetites for some more, and then uh, I'll make a series out of this. Why not? During the production phase, you can rebuild the haven and enhance your heroes. The commander's journal serves as a reminder of everything you can do. Multiple resources are available in your haven. Gold is used for building structures and buying equipment while materials are used for defenses. Uh, workers are used to trigger the active abilities of some buildings and will replenish every day. So you kind of got, got like a worker placement mechanic. 
So in this, you can like upgrade, um, you can upgrade these things that increases the number of workers in the city. So right now we have two workers, uh, grants the ability to buy or sell items during the production phase. So what do we, we have, uh, options here. Permanently increases max health for all heroes. Every production phase we can restore some health to heroes during production phase with the help of workers. So I think if we dedicate a certain number of workers to this building, then we'll give some health to our, 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 uh, heroes. So if I dedicate two workers, then we'll grant 24 max health to our heroes. Very nice stuff. Um, vestiges of the former city can be scavenged for some gold and materials during production phase. I think uh, it'd probably be a good idea to do this. Salvages materials and four gold from the ruins, destroying them in the process. I don't think you're, these, this is meant for anything other than scavenging, so I'll go ahead and scavenge it for materials so that I can make some equipment. Um, the same can be done to this building, but I now have dedicated one worker and we only had it, had two in the first place. Uh, increases your workers by one. We can spend 40 on that. Why not? And we get that worker right away, which is kind of nice. So we could actually, I could get some more health for our heroes, but I like the idea of getting some materials right away. Um, so why don't we go ahead and scavenge this thing as well? I, I kind of appreciate that um, there is some tutorial lidge going here, going on here, but it, it's not like do this. Okay, now do that. Now upgrade this thing. It's just kind of letting me do my own thing, um, which I appreciate. This isn't the uh, this isn't like the preparing phase. I think we we get a uh, one more phase uh, after, but um, I could be wrong about that. Let me see. What is it? Would this say? Oh, we want we want to do this. Uses one use is use production per, per production phase. Okay, restore forty health to the target hero. Uh, okay. Well, um, so we get to we get to pick one of these. Let's go ahead and and give it to um. Raquel, Raquel, sorry. Um, upgrades, offering health, forty to uh to eighty. We could do that. That costs a bit of money, so I, I think I'd rather not do that. This alters where the magic devote devotee devote their ma remaining powers and life force. Uh, preparing the last spell in order to banish magic and fix the mess doesn't block line of sight. The haven is lost if destroyed. So now, okay, here, hold on. We we have a couple of things to do before we move on. We can level up, increase the primary and secondary attributes of your hero to reinforce a strength or alleviate a weakness. Uh, I'm going to have to get a little bit used to this again. So pick a primary attribute. Oh, right. I remember this. I remember really liking this because... Um, I, I really like this mechanic. Uh, I've seen it a couple times before. I saw it primarily in War Tales, uh, but basically, like you can pick an obvious stat here to to uh, upgrade. But like, it might be that one of the stats just like get rolls lucky and is it can be improved a lot. So I can improve her move points by a lot this time. It probably would not be as much as three upgrade points. Um, or I could pick something like more obvious and probably more helpful like the armor um, I actually think I will go with like, like armor or resistance it decreases incoming damage How does that differ from armor protective layer preventing health loss fully restored every turn? interesting uh, Yeah, let's do armor confirm uh, move points is nice, but she doesn't really need to do a lot of moving, I don't think. Pick a secondary attribute. So now these are uncommon. Experience gain. We can improve her, her experience gain. But this game kind of works like a, a Darkest Dungeon a little bit. Like, we could potentially lose Raquel. She could die permanently. Um, I mean, we could lose everything permanently. Um, this this game is semi-roguelite in that uh, you kind of go as far as you can and then you get some meta points. Um, I don't mind too much the meta points in this game uh, because I found the gameplay was lenient enough that it didn't feel like uh, the meta points were like holding me back. What's reliability? Increases the minimum damage of, of an attack. Ooh. 
Attacks will always deal its maximum damage. Interesting. Yeah, let's uh let's pick that. That sounds really cool. And we get the uncommon, so it's it's being improved a little bit more than normal. And then we want to go to perks. Build your own combination of passive abilities to further specialize the playstyle of your heroes. Heroes have varying perk trees, so check them out carefully. Heroes will gain one perk point per level, up to level 11. If you want to plan ahead, you can pin the desired perk as a reminder. I like that. That is such a nice quality of life feature. Yo, honestly, I, I know this is lame, but nothing gets me more excited in like a game with nuance than just very intelligent quality of life features. It's seriously nice. Um... So uh, how do how do we pin? I, that's that's the question. I'll uh, right click to pin. Thank you for that. Um, so we have sprint unlocks the sprint skill, allowing to restore move points in exchange for some health. Uh, every four enemies killed, including poison kills, plus one daily mana regen, up to twenty five percent of the hero's mana. Uh, she does have a mana skill. All heroes use mana. It's not just uh, wizards. Upgrade the jump over skill. We could have her jump. Uh, coagulation armor is increased by 110% of the hero's daily health regen. Kind of like that. Plus one bag equipment slot. Also like that. Uh, that's very important for equipment. Let's go ahead and uh, I like this coagulation and I'm going to pin this potion throw maybe. Uh, I actually I really like this harvester. So I'm going to go ahead and pin that harvester and then I'm going to take coagulation. Since we just took armor for her, she's going to get the most out of this coagulation, I think. We can also pin some of these every 10 max health after 100 plus one physical damage critical runes mark unlocks the mark school allowing uh, a skill allowing for debuff uh glass cannon uh not so good for her as long as the hero isn't wounded she gets some dodge points that could be cool um more experience gained that could also be nice and i do like that potions throw so we can pin as many or unpin if we want I love the, the animation for that. Little touches like that are, are seriously nice. So that's just like one level up. We got to do this like two more times. Um, so for Tyrion, Tyrion is the ranger. Uh, he does have, he uses a, quite a lot of mana actually. So having some extra mana for him seems like an obvious choice. And that'll hopefully mean that he can use those pretty powerful skills more often. Um, I, I don't know if this is true, but I, I'm not sure if you, if you pick an uncommon stat for the primary, if maybe you get short change on the secondary. I'm not sure if that's true. Um, he could be a critical damage user. Physical damage 105%. Deals 200% damage to armor. Opportunism. Applies, applied to the damage dealt to targets with negative alterations. He could probably use some more movement. Applied to the damage per tile. Wait. Mo oh, sorry. Momentum. Deals bonus damage per tile traveled by the caster this turn. That seems like it could be cool. Cannot exceed plus 400%. I don't know. I, I kind of like this. I, I usually don't go for critical power, but I kind of like that. And he's gonna. he does a lot of damage to a lot of foes, so that critical chance is more likely to come up, I think. So let's go to perks. Let's go through these a little bit. Unlocks the fatality skill, allowing to execute any enemy in melee range under 10 health. In melee range, not so good for him. Um, plus six mana increased by three for each level of the hero. As long as the hero didn't move during this time. Plus 10% accuracy, plus one skill range. That's actually really nice for him. I didn't, since I went with critical, that could actually be very nice. Unlocks the quick reload skill, allowing to restore one use to all the skills of the current weapon set. That's also really nice. Armor is increased. Um, unlock the cheer skill, allowing to buff the damage of an ally. Uh, what does this use? Does this use... What does it use? Action points? I think action points. I kind of wish I had a better idea of uh, what that is using. But either way, I think I'm going to go with this mana growth. I'm going to go very mana heavy for the rangers since they they use some very powerful skills to do a lot of mass damage. Um, and let's let's move on. I don't want to like slow things down by 
getting bogged down in, in like uh picking stuff for people so this is our mage um this says traitor oh wait a minute have i messed up uh oh oh yeah no this is our mage thank goodness okay so he does use uh mana but it might actually be better off mm. he didn't get a uh, a lucky roll for the primary attribute beware mana is only partially restored every morning as defined by mana regen which we're not being offered right now. I actually feel like maybe taking armor for him might be good or yeah, I guess let's just take damage. Why not? Um physical damage. Sure. Or magic damage. No, physical damage is bad, right? We want magic damage. Cuz I I'm not sure if like all of his attacks do magic damage. Oh, these are they, also every character gets these like random perks Pl plus 20 percent xp gained and in less health they're fragile and they're, but they're brilliant um let's take magic gain and damage uh fatality um harvester we definitely i like harvester a lot um every two attacks from the hero dodged by at least one unit every two attacks from the hero dodged by at least one unit means restore one action point so it means that if the more the more times uh they their attacks miss or are dodged then they're going to get some ma uh, the some accuracy back or and restore some action points interesting cheer ability he might be a good candidate for the cheer um yeah let's put cheer on him why not I like Harvester, I like Perseverance, I like Potion Throw, um, and we'll call it there. Knight Reward, Item Selection. So we get an item. Choose an item. We could uh, get a hammer for um, Raquel. I think this, uh, this is like we're picking... Oh, compare gear with Laurel. Raquel. Yeah. You know what? Let's just go with that. I don't, like I said, I don't want to get too bogged down. Build a structure. We can build a mana well. Let's build a mana well. Um, build, buy some gear. You have two elements to define their power. Level de de uh, defines the value of the attributes and damage. It is represented by the Roman numeral at the bottom of the icon, uh, icon and the plus X in the name can go up to plus five. Rarely... Rarity adds random bonus attributes to the base item. It is represented by the color of the item. Good, um, good, good uh, information here. I actually also appreciate, it. In, in, in addition to the um, the color, that it has these kind of progressing gems, just to remind you, like, hey, by the way, green means you know it's good, but rare is better. Um, I often like it, it, games for some reason like to switch this around. They like to you know. Oh, this time green is better than blue for some reason, and it's a little bit confusing. All right, so next we want to uh, probably equip some of our dudes. So we're going to go ahead and uh, look at our, I guess, the city stash here. Some of the, I, f I wish some of these buttons were a bit more obvious, but um, I think after a while you'll, you would, you'd get used to them um, pretty quickly. So I've gone ahead and equipped um, Raquel here with a better hammer she's got this new hammer plus two base damage 137 to 161 and hopefully that'll mean that uh, she can she can kill zombies and mutants with one hit she's also got some better armor which will give her more experience gain actually i i always find that experience gained as a benefit to items is a very odd choice um i i'm not exactly sure how to explain that but um like I just think it's kind of weird to offer that as an option. Uh, production phase is about to end, but you have unresolved tasks. At least one building has a free ability remaining. Oh. Um, okay. Which one? Is it this one? No. This one? Oh. Possibly this one. Uh, restore six mana to target hero. Oh, right. They don't automatically regain their mana. Okay. So, there we go um build some defenses oh right we should also yeah we should build some defenses reinforce so we can build some wooden walls we could build some like basic barricades and stuff um we already start with a couple of things 
so um let's just like fill in some of these gaps with some with some flimsy stuff i'll leave a gap for raquel to do do her work i don't want to use up too much right now um because i'm i'm sure this is a this is some pretty this is gonna be the, some of the weak stuff um all right so deployment you can go here and y'all can go over here there we go the seal is hard to reach from this circle i can't channel it it's too powerful sorry too powerful all right here we go these guys have some armor so they're uh undoubtedly going to be a little bit tougher to uh to take down um okay our range is pretty good can the important okay we can't reach that so we'll, we'll take a couple steps forward and we're gonna do a tight volley over here pop pop watch as the mutants drop uh we can do power shots but i actually think that these straight arrows are gonna be well okay we can use this twice per turn and it only uses one action point so actually you're kind of a fool if you don't use the uh, power shot although the power shot has a limited range so never mind I'm, I'm, a, I'm a dang fool so instead i'm going to uh pop a couple of these mutants off while uh while i have the uh, the chance um and then we're gonna move with raquel raquel um is gonna do some work here she's gonna be able to crush these two these two lads and that new hammer is already showing its value and then she'll take a step forward and we're gonna do a stomp nice big juicy stomp right here smack smacko unli sorry unlimited power paying for itself um we can have her fortify they she is within range i don't think that they can fight diagonally so i think that she's going to be okay um she'll just like take a step back um do we want to do another crush sure let's do another crush like forward i'm not sure if that actually did anything but she'll she'll take a step back and fortify why not just on the off chance there's some new ranged uh mutants which is, i'm I, i'm pretty sure is a thing and then we have our lad here um he can heal but uh, let's uh, have him just pop a couple zombies. Whatever he can reach. Requires line of sight. These guys are are not within line of sight. They're they're in that fog, so it's not gonna it's not gonna work out for us. Okay, well that's actually good. We'll do a cheer. How about that? This is a, I think a free effect for a given duration. The duration is one, so actually we probably don't want to waste that now. We should have him do that first. If we're going to do that, I kind of wish I could lay some trap down, uh, trap cards down. All right, bad mana node. I can't do this alone. Hold it together. All of this is your fault. Ooh, here comes the zombie. Oh my god, she was within range. It's a good thing I did a fortify there. All right, so let's do a cheer. Out of range. Oh, she ha he has to pick someone. Okay. Well, then let's let's do Raquel. Raquel, you're gonna do some crush, crush, and then she's gonna get she's gonna get right right up in that business and then do a stomp, because this is like the perfect ideal. Uh, like th th it's just amazing. Um, she could take one more step forward and then do another crush, or um, sorry, stomp uh i guess that's not actually ideal because the thing is is that i don't i don't know if she if it lets her hit things that are in the fog so let's just do a stomp we'll do a stomp over here that's fine crush i mean stomp <laughs> and she's out of uh she's out of everything so um we're good there let's um we could do some sort of demacles on some of these weak weak ones no point in using up mana um if you don't have to i definitely i think that uh, this game is all about balancing your the use of your assets um 
and uh you know i think you you want to like kind of chain things together you know like set things up so that you can kill um with some of your weak stuff but if you have an opportunity to use like big spells that you know at their most optimally then um then you know that's that's definitely what you're going to want to do so we're going to give some uh some movement to raquel she's going to move back a bit just a bit more um she's still within range so we're going to Hopefully we can we can take out a, a couple of these lads now. How much is this doing? 92 to 122. That means we have a pretty good chance. Mm, actually, we don't have a pretty good chance of killing these guys because they're at 120. Uh, so that's that's a kind of a problem. So um, this power shot, it can reach one now, but not the other one. It could, however, reach this other one if I was to move uh, this lad back. So why don't we do a power shot and kill this guy power shot and um he's got four action points we'll 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 pop off a couple of normal shots on this guy there we go then we'll move him back over here and then do a power shot on this guy power shot um raquel is still within range incredible um she really was she's she's really just in the in the line of danger right now so and i was really hoping that would kill that dude but it looks like it, it doesn't so raquel is actually going to take a little bit of damage however she has an action point left so she's going to fortify that will uh, definitely help um return is the i, I kind of wish there was a better button for that the magic circle it's decaying it won't hold now the fun begins. Okay, so um, again, I'm going to cheer on Raquel because she's going to do some really nice damage here. Uh, and then I want to do... Um, I want to set up another thing here. Okay, so this guy is only 120. So I, if I... Uh, we could do... We could do like a magic missiles. No point. No sense in not using a little bit of magic. So we we'll kill that guy because I want to there's a nice little pocket there for Raquel and then maybe I'll uh, just throw out some other magic missiles at some of those lads set them up then we're gonna have oh that didn't kill that dude oh that's annoying okay well let's pop him with the uh, just a normal shot and then we're gonna have Raquel come in here and then she's gonna do some stomps stomp that was pretty good uh not bad at all um i'm seeing a nice little area there as well and it might kill some of these extra dudes but she doesn't have enough movement so we're gonna have to give uh some, a transfer give uh wait where is where's the transfer who has the transfer uh rain of arrows punch where's where's transfer can i only do it once per combat that i guess that makes sense what is this jump over we don't want to jump over no undo that um delete is is undo who um hmm okay i guess i guess you only get the one transfer so let's let's instead have raquel do her uh stomp over here because that's not bad also i want to i want to kill as many of these lads as i can have her step forward we'll do um I guess a bash just a normal bash and then we'll she'll move back she's definitely going to be in the line of fire here though there's no way she might have been better off actually just like fortifying where she was um we can do a tight volley to take these guys out kind of wish i could rotate that tight volley or we could do a rain of arrows rain of arrows is uh pretty expensive Yeah, I think a tight volley is going to be the thing to do here. Ah, I was hoping that would kill kill a, a lad, but it didn't. All right, so we'll just take out those last couple guys. And we, we still have our, our our guy here. What's his name? Lorelai. Lorelai. All right, so he's... Oh, he does have a transfer. Oh, my God. Okay, here. Transfer Raquel. Raquel, get back over here um she has an extra action point now so she's she is going to fortify um she is no longer in danger so this is good 
So go ahead and throw out some uh, sort of Demaclees and uh, take out another goon. And uh, that'll, that'll do it for the turn. My body. Oh no, the seal. It fights back. Another mage, quick. Find another mage. There is still hope left. Surely the other havens will be able to break all the seals. No. <laughs> well, that's it. That's that. That's that. It's explosion. But not the kind of explosion we want. Not the, the cool magical is destroyed forever. Um, explosion. Just the normal kind. Uh, oh, right. Okay, so uh, here is uh, the, I would say it's kind of the meta progression. And, you know, the, the game um, sets up pretty early, like you are going to die. And I mean, this was a scripted loss. Um, so it's whatever this time. Um, I... I like this game enough that I'm willing to uh, deal with the meta progression. I, I am generally opposed to it, but um, I, I do think it's done well in this game. We've got some interesting uh, kind of lore building going on here. Rejoice, O Earth and Sea, for I have come with gifts in hand. Oh my. Fear not, mortal. Be not afraid. I wish thee no harm. Yes, for I am hope, a whisper in the dawn promise of light i think i know you i was two but now i am one a gleam a mere refraction of what i could become nowhere and everywhere we dwell deep down and high above come to me whenever you thou achievest mighty deeds and i shall reward thee and thy people and let us all rejoice for thou will live again until thy work here is done go my prodigal herald of hope and come again Receive my blessings for thy wondrous accomplishments. Gildenberg uh, unlocks. It has come to your attention that another haven is also trying their best to break the seal. It looks like Gildenberg could do with some help. Complete the tutorial. So that was the tutorial. And you know what? I think it's a really nice tutorial. I mean, it, uh, it doesn't do too much like over explaining of things. And it just lets you play the game. And uh, I think that that's a good way of, of um, you know, teaching you. Um, you know, I, 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 it doesn't feel like a tutorial and that's kind of what I like about it. So, um, unlocks a new structure can now be built in your haven. Survive, uh, night two in Gildenberg, several runs. Um, so we, I don't, I don't think we can do this yet. Oh yeah, we have to, we have to go to Gildenberg, don't we? Uh, and this is, I guess the kind of meta progression I, I, I do enjoy this, um, is it, it adds a little bit of, uh, it does add some extra st stuff that do give you an advantage for sure. But also the meta progression comes in the form of like quests and objectives and not so much like, oh, you didn't beat the game this time, idiot. So therefore we're going to give you some easy points. So to make the game easier, you know, dummy. Um, so I, I don't mind this. I think it's a, it's a, a bit more intelligent. Welcome to the Oraculum, uh, or Oraculum, Oraculum commander who what the lower your voice fool or you will get us caught and all will be for naught what is this place the orac or oraculum is what i said are you deaf beyond dead a rather formidable formidable place if i can say so myself a blooming from the fathoms of your scattered mind who are you i am the shadows i am the dark i am the pain deep inside your heart it rhymes what a what a poet don't tell the other one for I will help you. Let it be a little devious secret between me and you. Would you be so kind as to partake of those useless souls you collected from the slain? In exchange, I will share powers and arcana to help in your formid formidable quests. There's that word again. Uh, so herein lies the kind of meta progression I don't like, which is just like, you know, make your stuff better. But, um, you know, I, I'm like I say, I'm going to power through it here. Uh, so we've used up all our souls and we can, uh, see some of the, um, like nice prizes we can, we can work towards in the future. Will you sell your tainted essence to me, dear? Yes, I did. I did already. 
I, I almost kind of wish this was like a choice. Like, um, you know, I do, I wonder uh, if there's room for a game to like make meta progression kind of a decision. Like, you know, you would think that you would w not want to give <laughs> the 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 Lord of Darkness the souls you've collected from mutated mutated magical zombies. You would think that that's not a you know on your itinerary. But um, anyway. Oh man, I, I is this map has this map been changed or improved because it looks really good. So here's Gildenberg. I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I like I say I really like this game and I'd like to do a series and that was just a tutorial. There's plenty of stuff to do in this game, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So uh, if you would like to see more of this, if you'd like to see a full series, um, and then definitely hit that like button. I'm gonna do it anyway, but you know just hit the button. I, I I'd appreciate it, and. Uh, <laughs> consider subscribing if you are looking for more uh, last spell content uh, i'll see you guys next time take it easy